So they're building facts. a they're building a fence facts. by my house for in my yard. Yeah. And they were digging the holes for the thing, and they found a toe. No, they didn't. A toe with a toenail in it. A human toe. A toe. A severed human toe. A toe. In your yard? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Where's everybody, like the neighbors came, everybody stopped what they were doing and was like, should we call the police? Oh, was you everybody know? not looking for it, like if it's one of their toes? Like <laughs> nobody was like, whose toe is it? Found a toe. So yeah. the rest of the body's got to be somewhere under your house. I don't know. I don't know. We, we were like, Mayhouse we didn't know what style. to do. We didn't, we didn't know what to do. You know whose toe it is. No, we called a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Don't Dang, get us confused. Don't ever. It's the podcast brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Yes. They got a new location now in Maui. Kahului. Yes, you can now be a member. <laughs> Go and sign up. Just walk in and tell them, hey, I want to open a bank Lanai account. Lanai sent you. Also, Star Advertiser, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full Digitally. access. Digitally. 995 Nice. Sign up. Also, we want to say mahalo to the office elections. Good job, Hawaii, for the for voting. Turnout. One was of our best on point in history. And fuego, Hawaii. Yeah. Good job. Make sure you go check them out. Hawaii.gov. If you have any questions, four five three vote. Also, mahalo to City Mill. Yes. Anything you need, you can get from City Mill. Even gardening supplies. Uh, paint. And like fence posts. Construction. Mm -hmm. Plumbing. All right, our guest today. I love this guy. He's uh, he's been around for a little while. I never told him this before, but I always appreciate what he does for Hawaii, and I love what he does. Uh, he's a local boy from Hawaii Island who lives on Maui. He graduated from the Culinary Institute of the Pacific, yep. and he later went on to work at Disney World. He made a name for himself worldwide as he competed in Bravo's Top Chef uh, Season 10 as one of the finalists, and he was named Fan, fan Favorite. favorite. Yes, he still is. He was named in Hawaii Magazine's Top 5 Best Hawaiian Chefs of 2014. Nice. He also was voted Food and Wine Magazine's 2014 People's Best New Chef for the Pacific and Northwest. Mm. He currently has a really cool restaurant in Kahului, Maui called Tin Roof. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Sheldon Simeon. How are you, brother? Hi. Brother, how's it, guys? Hello. I'm nice good. to see you. I'm good. How's Relaxing. Maui? Always beautiful as ever, relaxing on this Sunday. Uh, it's nice to have a day off, actually. So yeah, are right. you are you in your new home? I am. I'm in my new home. I'm in the guest bedroom. That's why it's so uh, just like no more nothing on the walls. So if you come, <laughs> it's if minimal. You come, if you come hang out at our house and look, and uh, look and drive home, we give put you in the white room. That's pretty much <laughs> how, it, how it goes. Congratulations <laughs> on the new house, bro. That's exciting. Yeah, my house. Is, uh, no, it's uh, adulting, man. It's a mm. it's a stage of my life. So, yeah. so it's a place for the family to see the kids grow and uh, yeah, stoked to have it. My wife's going off in the garden. Uh, yeah. Everybody's did, uh, quarantining nowadays. So. Yeah. So yeah, that's it's either at the restaurant or or me pulling the weeds. Well, <laughs> in you, the you know that it says a lot when you have a guest room. You know you're doing yeah. pretty good. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, my guest room is me. I'm in my guest it's room. It's actually his futon in his, <laughs> in his living room. But oh boy, so how's Tin Roof doing? Tin Roof uh, has been yeah, it's been grinding. Uh, luckily enough you know, for us, it's a uh, it's a concept that has withstand this pandemic we already was doing mostly only take out we only had six seats a counter space <laughs> at before uh and uh we were doing delivery already we were we we're doing call-in orders uh, online ordering so it's actually worked out for all of this um, nobody uh, if for, for nobody who's been or nobody's been there there what kind of restaurant what kind of food you serving so uh, we take we we say it's like the local style mom and pop Okazuya kind of lunch shop. Kind of, uh, we took over a Okazuya that was there for 25 years, actually. Oh, wow. Ichiban, yeah. yeah, so we had to continue that legacy, I guess. And, uh, so, you know, serving up local favorites, our mochiko chicken, that's pretty much what we're known for. We sell hundreds of bowls of those and uh, <laughs> other stuff like like roasted pork belly and chopped steak and you know very salad. comforting so are you guys very did you guys are you flipping the traditional stuff that was people had come to know there or are you making all your own new style stuff oh uh, yeah it, it's our own recipes of local our, mm -hmm. our take on local favorites got it uh, yeah it's really what you grew up eating and, and what your dad taught you huh 
Yeah, luckily for me, I had the parents that were uh, amazing cooks, especially my dad. Um, yeah, and learned to cook from a very young age and uh, continued on to to become a chef. You're doing this thing on online. Um, is it is it for munchies? Is it munchies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you we, still doing? We, tell everybody what what is munchies. I think it's kind of cool. Munchies is part of part of the Vice uh, network, and uh, I've been going to New York uh, to do these these videos. Uh, I've done a few of them. We see how that goes after all this traveling. But uh, got to, my biggest thing is just sharing Hawaii cuisine. I think a lot of people out there don't know exactly what what encompasses Hawaii cuisine. Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of people think it's like you know sweet sauces or tropical sauces. Pineapple. Yeah. But they don't. You have pineapple. This you put pineapple on something. You try calling them just Hawaiian. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, like what, put, I like the way you leaned into that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Padma's asked you to put pineapple on a couple of things, and you're like, step back, step back. Yeah. Now you you are travel you are traveling a lot, and you are teaching people this stuff. Do you get feedback? Like I know you did the. Um, you did a Simon. You showed people how to make Simon. Did you get any feedback? Yeah. And people go, bro, that's not Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah. It, there's always those those questions right off the bat of like, that's considered Hawaiian. And then you go through and be, becomes an educational moment of, of telling them about the different layers of our cuisine. And the plantation days and stuff like that. We, we Sheldon and I are really doing the same type of thing. I mean, he's an amazing chef. I'm not, but the he's story not. and the education part of it is what I like that what you do. You know, I, I'm all about education and telling people mm -hmm. where it came from, you know, stuff like that. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about this. We've got to take a quick break. This show brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Uh, you can now open up an a account on Maui. Near Tin Roof in Kahului. Yes, it's near, <laughs> near your restaurant. Go open up an account, Sheldon. You yeah. might want to move your business over there. These guys are really awesome and taking care. Uh, super simple to become a member. Go to highficu.com for more information. Also want to thank the Star Advertiser, uh, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii thing. Viewers can now receive the Star Advertiser's uh, digital full access. For the code. Yes, put put in the code. What's the code? It's high... A. Oh, A high things <laughs> a high thing a high thing. thing is the code yeah no wonder we were low in subscription this no, month sorry. also the office of elections hawaii votes by mail you folks did a great job in the primary now let's get ready for the general election and keep it going that's what it's called general not semi-finals i'm yeah. sorry i was making it a pageant yeah you were my thinking bad. of a bravo's <laughs> top my chef bad or something. Hawaii, my yeah bad. it's uh <laughs> it's an amazing thing that three hundred and eighty thousand, four hundred thousand people showed up but we do have 1.2 million people here a little more of you can stop being lazy and, and vote. go to your mailbox. All right. I want to say mahalo to City Mill. Anything that you need, they have for your home. Except toes. <laughs> yeah, they don't have that. But you can get gardening supplies. <laughs> yes. Uh, Sheldon, if you're uh, tell your wife, might want to go to City Mill. Oh, Their gardening okay. supplies are pretty awesome. Get City Mill, Maui. They do. I didn't know that. Sheldon is hanging out with us, Chef Sheldon Simeon. And uh, where are you originally from, Sheldon? Me, uh, born and raised in Hilo. Uh, my, Hilo. My family... My family is out in the Hamakua Coast, uh, the, out in Hakalau and, and Pepekeo, some small little plantation towns. And then I uh, grew up, I uh, went to Hilo High School, graduated Hilo High School, wrecked the Vikings. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Viking, a Viking. The like, Hilo Vikings. Just one, yeah. not all of them, just the yeah, one Viking. Viking. Yeah. 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 And, when, and when, when did you figure out I'm going to be a chef? Uh... It was uh, my brother actually went to culinary school. Uh, he's uh, three years older than me. Uh, I went through all through school thinking that I was going to be a, I, I wanted to be a architect. I mm, took really? Thing. Yeah, mechanical drawing nice. and, you know, advanced math and all of those kind of things and thinking, okay, I was pretty, all the way up to my junior year. I really, I, I, I love all, you know, looking at buildings. I love all of that stuff. And, uh, I don't know, senior-itis <laughs> got yeah. to me. Senior year wanted to just cruise and uh, said, I, I kind of go to a four-year college. And I see my, my, how my brother kind of breezed through culinary school just because we cooked <laughs> all our life. And I right. said, I'm going to go, I'm going to move my Waipahu with my auntie and go to, uh, <laughs> go to Leeward, Leeward Community College. And then there, there you go. Is there a competition between your brother? Do you guys like, you know, chef it up? Uh, no, no, he's, he's totally a different style of, of cook, uh, of he's, he's a grinder. He's, he's the kind of guy that you give him 
two hundred pounds of cabbage and he can do that all day, just chop cabbage. And, <laughs> oh really? That's, uh, yeah. He's a beast. He cooks, for, he cooks for a full different demographic. He cooks at the jail. So. <laughs> oh. Wow, yeah. there's a discerning palate there. Yeah. yeah. Don't knock it. When you uh, yeah. when, when you go home, does your does your mom and dad ever uh, you know ask you to cook? And then your dad always telling you, no, not like that. No, no, no. He's he's such a great sport, you know. It's it's awesome that we share the same love so of of cooking, and it's always a, a thing that we go back and forth, and we're always look forward to going back home, Hilo, and cooking together. We always always throw jabs at each other, you know. And it helps that you're famous like, too, though. So. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. I guess. Yeah. You know what's yeah, interesting? You know, but, go ahead. Sorry. No, I love seeing him like apply like some new ingredients, like him putting. Mm lemon pressed olive oil on top kilo and goat and like oh wow like, like, like what are you doing like, okay. <laughs> he's <laughs> upping his <laughs> game <laughs> it's, yeah it's definitely upping his game on that one it's so, so funny. Um, man you gotta you guys you and your dad should open a filipino restaurant on the big island <laughs> there no. isn't any no Is no there? no more no more, no more not in hakalao <laughs> well and i mean the whole <laughs> big island i don't think there's a filipino restaurant really i've never seen one really is there not that i <laughs> Yeah, niche not market, that I know of. niche. Yeah. Think about that. Just like niche. a tin roof style. No need to be big, you know, yeah, Filipino yeah, restaurant. Yeah. Um, I, wanna, yeah. I always wanted to ask you this. You know, you've been traveling doing these big events. Like you do stuff for the James Beard Award. You do stuff at Pebble mm-hmm. Beach was a, what, a big thing that you did. Do you ever feel pressure doing these type of events? Because they're so like, I don't want to say snooty, but... I mean, it's yeah. overpriced. Really? They're overpriced. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You do well, pop-ups for like 200 and some bucks a head? No, or? not that. I do not. I do not do that. Oh. No, okay. I don't do snooty events. Okay. Uh, what, <laughs> does it, do you feel pressure doing these things? Uh, I don't know about pressure. I, I guess before uh, earlier in my career when I was, you know, when we first just got like the James Beard Award rec- got recognized. This was, you know, over 10 years ago. It was always something that I have to prove something or try to come out and be something different and like, okay, prove that Hawaii is bigger than what everybody thinks. And it always ends up being too much over dramatic and yeah. put too much pressure on myself. And it never, uh, I don't know if it's received by everyone, like how it should be. So now I, when I do Pebble Beach, I just cooking the food that we cook, you know, at home. I just like be proud about what we're doing. Man. Yeah. You got yeah. comfortable with being famous. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The more famous, like the longer you're famous, you're just like after a while, you're like, oh, I'm okay. Like I'm good enough as I, I don't need to top nothing. I, I'm here. I'm on the mountain. I'm good. Yeah. Now, when, you, when you've done these things, are there chefs there that you thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this event with that chef? They're saying oh, that about always. you. They're yeah. saying that about you. Of course. Sure. But when you first started no, doing no, them, no, no. who are some of those chefs that you looked up to? Oh, uh, like all the like the top chefs in the world. Rene Rene Redzepi was mm. there, and uh, you know Morimoto is all around, and Thomas Keller, and yeah. all these big names, like the the forefathers of American cuisine, of world cuisine, yeah. and. Uh, here I am on the same ballot as them. When and, and do they come to your booth and try your stuff? What's the reaction like? Uh, it's always, it's all, again, it's, it's an educational moment for everyone that they're thinking, I love to give them a, that first bite and they're like, this is Hawaii cuisine. This is food from Hawaii. Yeah. And uh, it's always, always a great feeling to, to what wrap are they, Hawaii. What are they in, expecting? In because when you go to these events, it's like this, <laughs> You know, French laundry, you know, you no, I know, but when they whenever they come and they eat your food or pe- food that we know that's Hawaii that they don't, what are they expecting that they're not getting? Like, do they think it's supposed to be a pig with like an apple in their mouth? Yeah, no. and, <laughs> some, like, sometimes no. I think it is. They think you're going to do like a full blown luau spread and yeah. then you show up yeah. and you're doing like a heightened version of pokey tartar or whatever. And they're like, right. this is Hawaiian food. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think they're what they're like the, the layers of flavor, especially the, the food that I, I do is always like pulled from all these different uh, ethnicities, ethnicities. Right. and to, to have the flavor of Chinese and Filipino and Korean and and all of that all in one bite. Uh, and it makes sense Yeah, yeah because we, we can we can cook it naturally. It doesn't it's not forced right. to yeah. make a dish to make a dish cool. Right. Uh, I think that's the most exciting thing for them to, to, to see that it works. And you're this local boy from the big island and you come out with local food. And the reason I brought this up was because I'm getting this a lot. We grew up on a plantation and plantation food is really poor. 
when you think about it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. simple. In origin, very but, simple. Yeah. And it still is very simple. There's not it's yeah. not a lot of sauces and stuff. And then you Use go to this guess. Yeah, and you go to this event and then you have these big chefs come over and you're doing an education about it. Elaborate a little bit more like what are some of the chefs have you surprised any of them? Oh, man, you are putting me on the spot on who like <laughs> it's okay. the names of it. But uh I think we did uh, we did a, a a poi donut up at Pebble Beach, nice. and then we just yeah we we did we did gussy it up with uh, with a chicken liver pate, but we put you know guava jelly on top of it too, and then it was a uh, yeah it was a big hit. Right, like chefs are uh, like, is this this is a fried Hawaiian donut? <laughs> you know, this is made out of poi. I hate poi. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, I went to a luau in Hawaii and I had poi and this is, doesn't, doesn't taste yes. exactly like, like, You're like it, that's so. why I'm so good at what I do. <laughs> and that's really, that's really what I wanted you to share because I'm seeing it more and I'm hearing it more. There was an event you did and a friend of mine sent me a message and said, Oh my gosh, your the guy Sheldon from Maui, like he was my favorite dish and I didn't expect it. And he's never been to Hawaii. So he mm. expected something with pineapple mm-hmm. on it or something, mm. you know? Yeah. And it's, that's what's so exciting. The 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 nat how natural all of these flavors blend together. It's it's not forced. You know, a lot of times the fusion cuisine can yes. can be turned off when you just it hits too much uh, spots in on your tongue. But I don't know. You grew up in Hawaii, you understand those those melding of flavors. So yeah, yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. I hope I continue to be able to share that, you know, throughout the, the rest of my <laughs> my career. Oh, you, I I have no doubt you are. That. Totally. I mean, you're becoming you're you're one of the pioneers now. The new you know the new regime. It's uh, interesting. Sheldon did a um, oh gosh, what is it? you did? Uh, you came on the show and he took you know when you eat a kalbi plate mm-hmm. and there's <laughs> cabbage on the bottom. Mm-hmm. And then at, when the kalbi is done, mm-hmm. all that juice from the kalbi goes into the cabbage. Right. And then you eat it with the rice and whatever's left over. He made yeah. a dish out of that. And I was blown away like, oh, my gosh. It's like my grandfather. You don't waste nothing. <laughs> no, no, no waste. And my dad, the down, that, that's the way that we grew up. And you know, my dad would bring, he, he bring tea to work. And then get whatever's left over when he come home, he eating them with rice. It's like any normal person would, would throw away the half cup of tea. You no, know, Right. <laughs> <laughs> bring him home and eat him with rice so that's that's just the way that it goes man. and it's really from from growing up on a plantation that's mm-hmm. it it's just like being very thankful for everything that you get you know yeah you, you, utilizing what get and you know no more the, the benefit of going to the store and get whatever you you want to buy or what you how's eat. how's your filipino uh repertoire uh i think I, you know what I, had, I got a compliment from a friend uh, the other day, and we cooked like some old school Filipino food. It's like, oh, you cook like an old Filipino uncle. I was like, oh, oh that's awesome. No, right <laughs> Better than a James Beard Award. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I, I've been able to cook at the James Beard house, and I've been able to you know, travel around the country. But, uh, you know, things like that. Like I always ask for my friend to cook at his uh, first first birthday baby party, uh-huh. and that's for me that was the highest honor. Ah, uh, that's so cool. That. What is one place or one event that sticks out to you that you really enjoy doing? Uh, Aspen food and wine. You know, that Ooh. was like that. That was let me put one put a local boy out in the mountains like that in the and cold. In, in, the, in the cold, <laughs> and now that's a little snooty. That event, that's like yeah. high maka maka. Yeah, that's yeah. like kahala yeah. on steroids, <laughs> for sure. Well, yeah, I did a did a uh, with I was uh, did a did a lunch with Jacques Pepin and Jeremiah oh. Tower oh. at, at, <laughs> at the Food and Wine. And Big it was, guns. It just it's it's just it's just crazy, man. I just I still consider my, myself this local kid out from from Hawaii and to be able to cook these oppor- have these opportunities to cook like this it's, it's I so think that's why your fan favorite yeah. though is because yeah, very like, humble. you can like flow in and out you can do yeah. like like brother brother kind and then you can be like next to yeah. chef Papan. and I think everyone relates yeah. to you yeah you know it's not mm-hmm. it's like when you watch I watch all these cooking shows and I'll switch because I'm like I can't make that Right. I don't. I don't have that pan. <laughs> I, I don't I'm not have Martha those ingredients. Stewart. I don't have yeah, those exact <laughs> coordinates. Simplicity is always the best. What did you make at that event? Uh, 
we actually fermented some some ulu that I had for like eight weeks, and then we made a puree, and I just served it with with the vana with uni. Dang. Wow! Yeah. You went kuaina, son. <laughs> yeah, <I> was... <laughs> that's some <laughs> ulu kimchi yeah. with like some soul yeah. on top of it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's... Pureed ulu with uh, Love it. It, was, it was awesome. You know, I got to tell you, I went to uh, the Philippines with uh, Chef Charles um, from mm. Mamser, and yeah, he was voted yeah. top twenty-five chef mm. in California or LA, and uh, he he gave you the ultimate compliment. He said, "I've been doing these pop-up dinners uh, and pop-up events with these different chefs collabs," and he goes, "I got to tell you, man, that Sheldon, he's the one." And I go, "What? What? What, what did you guys do?" He goes, "He <laughs> showed up with a duffel bag." and a knife like a couple hours before and he did everything he didn't have a sous chef he right. didn't have somebody helping him and he just put it all together and it was one of my best dinners macgyver just yeah. <laughs> me a pig and a, and a knife but that says a lot about what you do is yeah. and sim and keeping it simple keep it simple you know we've, we've been doing that like when somebody show up to the house uh, like unexpected that's how we was growing up oh get right. oh, it's Go defrost the smoked meat or, or the smoked <laughs> sausage from the freezer and then put something together for, for have dinner and eat poo poo. See, the I way think I that's why you did well at Top Chef, though, because sometimes they're so used to like prepping and researching, yeah. whereas you're just like, mm -hmm. I can go to Molokai, kill a deer and feed yeah. 50 people. So whatever yeah. you got in that box <laughs> isn't going to scare moi. Right. I'm we, good. We read we ready to entertain at any time. Uh, we just <laughs> enjoy people having over. Let me cook for you. Do you watch it. cooking shows, Sheldon? Uh, I, Top Chef scarred me. So. PTSD. Yeah. I, I want to get I into this. <laughs> I got to get into this because I've got friends who've done like other shows for Bravo. Like what? Yeah. It's like it's kind of there's another side to the story that people don't know about. Well, like, they got to make TV, right? Yeah, but yeah. you don't know when you get on the show because you're just raw talent. You're there to cook. Yeah. And then they throw into you all of like the Hollywood smoke and mirrors and all that part. And you just want to cook. Did you enjoy that ride? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a crazy experience that I, that I don't take for granted of all the things that I've got to experience. Like, and all the places I got to see and yeah, it's, but it's, it's a, a learning, reason. it's a learning curve though. Right. With the cameras and like the whole thing, yeah. the reality part of it, reality part of the showing of it. Yeah. I, and us growing up in Hawaii, we always to taught to be, you know, soft spoken, always in the background of, of doing things. And just, I guess for me, just, I, I let my actions do the talking. So, yeah, let's, right. let's try to concentrate on all of that. Part of why you're you, a fan you favorite. You think about all the local boys or lo locals that do these shows; they always do well, and I think that's part of it. Um, but you did an amazing job representing Hawaii for sure. Authenticity. Uh, right yeah, um, <laughs> you did. You also did. Was it the All Stars? Yeah, went back for uh, a second try, uh, season fourteen. Did it get, did it get easier the second time around? when you went because you kind of know the lay of the land a little bit and the tricks of the trade or oh What's yeah it? the the so that that season it was split between uh half were all-stars and half were rookies oh. i walk in there like the rookies have no chance <laughs> <laughs> just because it's uh, we have an advantage to knowing what the yeah, schedule yeah, yeah. is yeah. and how the, the energy of it all and you know this second time around i the first the first round uh I learned a huge lesson just to be yourself. You know, I tried, I switched it up in the finale and tried to do something fancy and, uh, you know, that stuck with me. So this second time around, I just really just enjoyed myself and took it all in and right. just cooked. Sheldon, cook I hate to cut heart. you off, but, um, you can catch this full podcast on YouTube. Just subscribe also Apple and Spotify, but thank you so much for being a guest on the show today. Thanks, We're going to say favorite. mahalo to Hawaiian oh, financial federal credit union, star advertiser office of elections, also city mill and mana up. we got a gift for you. Oh yeah, we, we do. have a gift for you. Thank you so much. Follow yes, chef yes. Sheldon on Instagram under chef wonder. Um, yep. are, you, are you on anything else? Enjoy snacks coming to you from enjoy.com. Yes. We got a whole basket for you. We'll see you soon, Sheldon. Take care. Hello, guys. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Chef Sheldon is hanging out with us, and yep. uh, we were talking about Bravo Top Chef and the. Uh, we're getting the dirt. Yes, uh, the, uh, the dirt. behind the scenes. Where do they film that? Everywhere. Whatever state oh, will let yeah, you guys in. All, all over, but this, this last one, we were in Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you were like somewhere in mid... 
Which is kind of like we... Molokai for white people, right? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that's what was crazy is like the the parallels of of the Country. Gullah cuisine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the 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 cuisine of of you know. The low, of, the low country the, yeah, the food. Lo, that low country they soul call it. food. Uh, yeah. yeah. Very similar to Filipino cooking and <laughs> yeah. like all of the flavors. And uh, yeah, I think it worked, worked, <laughs> it worked out for me. Uh, then uh, the finale we filmed in, in Mexico. Oh, in was, Mexico. There is so much crazy. money in that show. Gosh, that's so crazy. Yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> I was, I, I didn't get to watch the, the ending of it, but I always tell people that it's, our food is very much like soul food for sure. Oh yeah, very and similar. The the amount of vegetables and you know they have like eggplants and okra and all Salit. of that. I was like, I'll, I'll just cook pinak bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right, that's the way to do it. Uh, Sheldon, what was the uh, what was the chef that you looked up to when you were in culinary school? Uh, oh man, you know the the all of the Hawaii regional chefs, uh, Sam Choi and and Roy Yamaguchi and Alan Wong and those yeah like those guys I, every weekend watch Sam Choi man uh, and yeah. I can miss I won't miss that I, I wouldn't miss uh you know Harry Koji Harry's Kitchen I oh, wouldn't miss that, was that as best. a kid you're was the old best. school bro yeah. you're like one yeah. of us you are like no that's awesome I would I would I would not miss that you Bible invoked and, I mean, the, the house, name whatever, what, <laughs> Harry Kojima Oh yeah, with the squints. Yeah. Yes, I love it. This is this is why it's yeah. called it's a yeah. Hawaii thing. He would and nobody knew he well, a lot of people knew later, but he would cook in his shorts and slipper every episode he was wearing shorts oh, and man. slipper. We were just having a conversation last night about the, I was like we call those OP shorts Harry Gojima yes. shots. So yeah. I was like I need I, I the need corduroy those ones. corduroys. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely a Hawaii thing. That's so funny. Uh, what is that one dish that you miss when you're away from home, like and from that restaurant? Because you can cook it, obviously. But is there a restaurant that you miss when you're away traveling? Oh. Uh, I, I gotta come back and eat real poke when I come back yeah. home. Ah, just... You quantified it by saying real poke yeah. because yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of perpetrators yeah. all across the nation. I just like eat like poke with with Hawaiian salt and and limu and inomono. Yeah, and, and that's that's just it. Uh, that's probably my thing too. What is your thing? I don't eat raw fish. So I know, but what is that local thing? I just go to Zippy's. Zippy's. I'm Zippy's really easy. Too. I miss Zippy's like too. Like a whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah. eat um, you have sautéed mushrooms. Oh yeah, on rice. On rice and something else. No chicken. It. Was it the fried chicken? Yeah, the fried chicken's good, but she don't even know what she like. Yeah, everything at <laughs> Zippy's is good. She's like, come on. What's the What's the last show you watched on Netflix, Sheldon? He ain't got time. Sunday, we're taking up his time. We're taking up his time right now. What do, What do you yeah. like? What's the last thing you watch? Well, what did I? Oh, I watched uh, Eurovision. That was the last thing. Slow I clap. Euro, what is for Eurovision, you, buddy? And so Will Ferrell's. Will Ferrell. Movie. Oh yeah, 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 With yeah. The yeah. Singing. That's right. That's right. I thought you were gonna say like some highfalutin, ugly, delicious, or like <laughs> no, something no. by one of the chefs. And you're like, uh, no. It's funny. Like I need something. Totally not different from cooking. cooking. <laughs> yeah, like, I asked, I, I asked yeah. you this before, but I want to get, I want to hear what you say this time around. What do you think of all these shows coming to Hawaii and featuring our food and they're not from Hawaii? And then you, Ooh. they give this mis, <laughs> misinterpretation Be of it very or careful what they say what about it is say. wrong or what, what do you think about that? Be very uh, careful what you say. Yeah. Well, I'm thankful that they're coming to us first off, you know, like the the guys who was born and raised here, at least asking for opinion, at least first, at least so that well, I'll give them the, the fact that they're trying yeah, and they're not just coming in and just, just painting a picture from it. So they're actually reaching out to us like Gooch and, and yourself and, yeah. and doing this stuff. But uh, I think these last few shows, they've done a, done a great job of really showcasing hawaii you know like uh, i did a show with gordon ramsay hey uh, that was awesome uh, i you know what though i i can't believe you might guys made eggs like i was thinking <laughs> <laughs> i 
something a that's little bit more. That's his thing, though. Yeah, that's breakfast. His thing. That's yeah. his thing. That's his thing. Is he always does, you know, that 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 eggs thing. So, you know, you so know, always... Gordon Ramsay's new I know. show. He's the one that lo- <coughs> like yells at people. All yeah, the time. yeah. But do you know the new show he did? No. So he goes to all these different countries, and then he'll find a chef, and he'll make a breakfast. Okay. But they do it over open fire. Oh. What's the yeah. name of the show? Uh, Uncharted. Uncharted. Mm. Yeah. So they had you and Kimmy Werner, which was cool. And, yeah. And you guys, and they, what did you make? They came out to Hana. They we, made you uh, guys they, go to Hana? Yeah, the, the whole show was, was based out of Hana. Was, the way it was set up is, you know, I introduced him to Maui. Mm. And then he goes out for a few days to with all these different hunters yeah. and families and learn these things. And then at the end of the week, we come together and, and cook this, this meal. At Oprah's house uh, in Hana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was at, at Ala Kukui, which is this amazing uh, uh, retreat out there. Um, but uh, yeah, there was, he was so respectful, him and the team, of actually like getting in there and really understanding. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good to that. know. Good to hear, actually. Yeah, he's not yeah. like how, how he is on television. No, it, no. it's definitely a, a, a character that mm. he plays. And uh, yeah, I had some awesome moments to be able to sit down and talk story. I get like I, I look at all these moments that I get to share with these guys yeah. and, and have conversations like this. And we always put these chefs on these pedestals, but they down inside they're like real, like just, just normal, normal people, guys. Yeah. Especially especially the guys that I look up to. You know, mm-hmm. like I spent a whole week together with Anthony Bourdain in, in yeah. Maui. Yeah. You know, just like me and him talking. Him in his boxers at over watching the Kalua, <laughs> watching the, the <laughs> watching watching the emu and just just shooting the shit and yeah. just talking stories. So. so funny. Uh, he was probably my most interesting guy guy to talk to as well. He was very inquisitive. He wanted to know everything. Yeah, je- everything. His, cur- his curiosity yes. was like un- untouchable. Yeah, he he reminds me of David Letterman. David Letterman's a very inquisitive guy too. He, He'll be with mm. a stranger and ask, where do you work? What do you do? Well, he wants to know everything and educate himself. That was Bourdain, too. Well, I think because he was not a different person like Gordon Ramsay makes up characters. Yeah. Like Anthony was just Anthony, camera on, camera off. Yeah. You know, he was just who he is and yeah. just like love life, whatever. He was in the moment. He's in the moment. You know, when I did his show, I didn't know who he was. What? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. This is a long time ago. He, he, yeah, he, oh, I first, remember that. Bro. Yeah, his I first season, long, and he came, long, he came long, to the yeah. house with a case of beer, and I thought I like this guy, <laughs> because you know, you know, we've done the other shows and stuff, and people <laughs> sometimes it goes a little Hollywood, but he really did his homework, right? And he showed up with a case of Heineken. <laughs> and, and we got him drunk we got his whole crew drunk um my yeah. uncle my uncle who used to sell obama his pakololo got the whole crew high wow. yeah like it was amazing that was one of my most amazing nights and then we hung out a couple of days but so bourdain and then uh when you when you did the ramsey show what did you make again eggs no but what was it no, uh, I did eggs uh, with uh, the spam that we make in That's house. That's right. So we, we did homemade yeah, spam. We do homemade spam. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just... Wait, so spam made from scratch? Yes, yeah, spam made from scratch. Yeah, use, yeah using uh, local local pork. And, wow. Uh, and stuff, so. That's awesome. Who do, who is it that you want to work with? Anybody? Uh, um, it's so so hard to think of those things right now, like during this whole thing, but. I, I, the Filipino chefs again, yeah, man. Mm. I, like, uh, yeah. Have uh, you worked with Tom Kunan yet? No, but I, I got to eat at his restaurant at uh, Bad Saint. At Bad Saint, and you know, he's he just recently left. And I so know. I'm excited. I can't I'm, believe it. It's crazy to see what he's what's what's next with him. You know, I just did on. a show with him yeah. in the Philippines. We we went and shot for like a month for CNN. Yeah. Me, him, and Charles, and we traveled all over the Philippines, and it was really cool to see them because I don't I'm obviously not even close to what they do and what you guys mm-hmm. do, but to see them be so intrigued about the simple things. Well, because they're Filipino, yeah. but they're not. That's like them going back to the motherland for like the first sort yeah, of Yeah, it was like, his, yeah. 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 So they're, first or second time It's like back. they're getting in touch with their roots right. kind of a thing. But it's so interesting to see, well, like when you talk about how these chefs that you admire are, you know, just normal trying to figure it out too, you know, mm-hmm. learn other people's stuff. But Philippines has such a wide range of food. The spectrum is so yeah. amazing. You it's, know? Uh, 
I got to go. I got to go to the Philippines with uh, with Chef Ed Kenny. Oh right. Um, we, we did his show over there, and it blew my mind. And like the the time that we spent there was too short, and I've always dreamt about going back. Was and that for his I, show? I, I, yeah. Was that family ingredients. Family ingredients. Um... Family ingredients. Yeah. So we were in Baguio. So that that trip was bittersweet, just because. We're limited to Baguio, and my family's a little bit out of there, out, oh. out of that, uh, that they were, city. They were trying to bring you on the CNN thing that we did. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was too it was long. Just, oh, was, you guys yeah. were in the same. You guys were on, on island. Yeah, it was supposed time. to be four. It was supposed to be four chefs. Well, three chefs and me. And and uh, Sheldon, I was trying to get Sheldon on that ticket, and they were they really wanted him, but the, it was like four weeks we were gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, trying to leave leave a whole month uh, <laughs> with the. With my four kids and the restaurants yeah. and all that so was, was kind of hard. What's your favorite Filipino food? Uh, I like I like the gritty stuff. I like I like bindongo. And oh my I like, gosh! I cannot handle. I like, okay, you need to translate because like, I'm not Filipino. <laughs> so. on, he likes innards. So tripe. innards. Oh. He likes the innards. Yeah. I like so. I like. I like Kiloen. I like Kalding. I like all of that. Goat. Like, yeah. You're talking about goat. Wow. You know, you got to start I taking was... care of your health, Sheldon. Balut, <laughs> no. is, so is balut on the table then? For I this? don't like balut. You no, like balut? No, but... no, no. I, Balut's no, I'm, not I'm considered not... gritty. That's about as gritty it's as gritty. it gets, bro. It is. That's, but he... that's not something. I'll eat it, but that's not, I'm not like, oh, I got to go get something. <laughs> yeah, that, you don't crave for it. That, I was like, oh, but you're this like, is, if it's this, on this the plate, right there. This <laughs> <balloon."> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no craving for balut. It doesn't happen like that. No. Yeah. Why don't you guys collectively as a Filipino race just divorce yourself from balut at this point? <laughs> Have a conference and let it go because none of y'all like to eat it. Well, so. you know, they, they when we were in there in November, we we're shooting. The other chefs, they love balut. I don't, and I was like standing on the side, <laughs> and I was thinking, please don't ask me to tease. Please don't ask me to eat this because I'm going to embarrass myself, and I'm going to embarrass them. It's basically what it was. So this went on for you know 45 minutes. They're all trying it, and I'm standing in the back, <laughs> just and the, like, la, and the la, director's la. like elbowing me. How come you're not get in there? Get in. I'm like, hey, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm full. So I'm I had full. to I had to taste it. <sighs> And so before I tasted it, uh, they didn't put this in there. I wish they did. The chef goes, uh, uh, Chef Margarita. She's like the biggest chef out of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. She's amazing, this lady. She said, um, you're Filipino, right? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm half Visayan. She goes, you don't eat balut? I said, well, I quit. <laughs> you quit. <laughs> For religious purposes. I was already gagging in my mouth. You cannot see me gagging in my mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, That's so what's, what's next for you? You got the restaurant. Of course you got a family. Is there anything that you want to do that, you know, a dream? Yeah. Well, we've, I've been working on this cookbook for this past three years and it's, it just got pushed back just because of all of this, but it, it's going to drop next year, early next year. Congratulations. And yeah. I'm always, man. It's not and, easy uh, to do. No cookbooks are not easy to do. It's like a marriage. It's, <laughs> it's a, oh. it's a grind. And luckily I have an amazing, you know, amazing team amazing writer garrett snyder is like this this brother that that out of la came out here and engulfed himself and got to talk story and just like we wrote this book and we we're all over we we shot in hilo we shot in hana we shot up here up uh, in, in wailuku and yeah just a lot of family favorites a lot of stuff from the different restaurants a lot of recipes that uh, i grew up uh with and uh I'm so excited to to showcase it. Man. Nice. That's gonna be a cash cow for you. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think people are waiting. You don't have you don't have anything right now, do you? No, no cookbooks right now. You know what? Nothing. You know what you got to do, Sheldon. And I'm I'm being honest about this. You got to do audio. What does that mean? Yeah. You got to do an audio book. I tell you, it's it's the craze right now. He reads the book yeah. to people. So when people are in kitchens right now, they're saying that moms are listening to the chef telling them how oh, to make it. Oh, as opposed to reading it yeah, As opposed to reading it. But re everyone's going to buy it because people collect cookbooks and love the photos and mm -hmm. everything. But if you do audio, you just tripled your sales. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Good to know. Right? If you had your favorite chef telling you how to cook it. Yeah. Right? Uh, but anyway. it's perfect because it's it's written with all the all the pigeon words and all of that all in <laughs> that's nice. the way to go that's authentic. the way to go authentic Sheldon who do you listen to music wise uh 
I've been, I, I'm all over the place, you know. I'm, I'm still local boy down to earth, but so like, Cow Crater Boys is still yet every day Thank on the you. list. Thank yeah. you. Uh, still, so just because I kind of play my ukulele as much as I like to, <laughs> so, uh, but, oh man, hip hop and playing, uh, country and all of that, uh, yeah, all over the place. You listen to a little bit of everything. What what got you through Top Top Chef? What was the thing that kept you going when you were like, I don't know, like this is crazy. This Holly stuff is crazy. Like, what am I? Doing? Yeah. What am I doing here? What What do you yeah. think got you through? Do you think was it like thinking about the people in Hawaii? Was it like listening to the Brothers Casimero on your iPod? Like, yeah. What? You know, of course, of course, a lot of praying and being very thankful. That first and foremost was every every day thankful for the moments and then yeah always thinking about about back home about talking you know repping my family and repping mm. hawaii always always on my on my heart and, yeah because uh, i think that's what cuts me. through the noise on the show a lot is you could tell your intentions were always really spot on like you were constantly you know forgoing like you're like this is what my islands are about this is what my flavors are about yeah. this is what my heart is about mm -hmm. so anytime people tried to like move you or whatever you'd be like no i'm going back to this is what i know this is who i am this yeah. is what our flavors are and i want other people to know that about where i come from because yeah. people think that different this, this thing but i'm telling you this is what we are kind of a thing so i think that's what people resonated with might made you the favorite i think because other people would just be like, sure, I'll, I'll use mung beans any way yeah, you want. Just I tell agree. me how to be. I agree. I'll tell me who you want me to be. I'll be who you want me to be. And you're always like, no, that's not my, that's not my skis. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. Yeah, it's not Hakalao. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely something when you can stand on that, especially when we have a base of Hawaii that we can we can be proud about. Man. Are you yeah. teaching your kids to cook? Yeah, they've been, they've been jumping in. Uh, they've been they've been loving it I'm, I'm i'm really impressed on what they've been yeah. accomplishing you know, like yesterday they made uh you know slow cooked short ribs yesterday which how is old are your kids <laughs> yeah they, they range range from i got four so so six oh no no seven nine ten and thirteen yeah oh, they're wow. all still young my girls, man, I asked my girls to come help me do so cook. And they're like, we're not going to go out and eat. <laughs> Spoiled. They're I like, you. look at your Instagram for you, dad. Like you, you don't cook. You take us places and take eat pictures out of everywhere. Food. Anyway, yeah. Sheldon, I know you're a busy man. Thank you so much for sharing Thanks your time with us. Thanks for coming on the show. Mahalo, guys. We're, we're always so proud of what you do and how you represent yeah. Hawaii. You're like an MMA fighter, bro. But in the culinary <laughs> ring. In the culinary ring, yeah. Next time and you do a right. show, put the Hawaiian flag Killa. around you. You're a killer. Yeah. <laughs> we got uh, something for you. Did we give it to him already? Yeah, we did. Oh, we gave it, it to you already. You know. Yeah. But I, I held it upside down. So. Oh, you want to hold it? Sure. I'll up? hold it right side up. So yeah, this is a little something from Enjoy Snacks. Go check them out at Enjoy. We're gonna mail it to you on Maui because the mail comes to Maui. Yes. So. All right. It's got all the different snacks in it. I think there's even Ika in here. I'm not sure. Sheldon, tell everybody your website and your social media. Uh, hit me up at uh, Chef Wonder on all of my social, all the social media platforms at Chef Wonder. Uh, also at Tin Roof Maui. Oh. And uh, if you guys come through Maui, come come eat, come grind. It's and, right by uh, the airport too, so you can't miss it. Right past Krispy Kreme on the right hand side. Oh, and that's you guys a good are landmark. doing. To get, hey, give the staff uh, uh, a hug for us too, because they're doing a really good job. And you guys were a part of our Show Aloha Challenge, Aww. which was awesome. You guys are yeah, feeding the Kupuna. You, uh, Kupuna, and you guys are doing so much for the community nice. over there. So congratulations on everything. Thank you guys, Mahalo. Thanks for being on the All show. Right. You, you take care, All brother. Right. Aloha. Stay Aloha. healthy. It's a